Timetables are great for managing timestamp data in MATLAB. For example, this data includes weather information as a mix of times, numeric values, and event data as text, all in one array. This data set is stored in a table, which is designed for mixed type data, but since this data includes timestamps, it is convenient to work with it as a timetable. Table to timetable is one of several functions to create timetables and convert from other workspace variables. The times in a timetable are metadata, separate from the data variables. Each row is labeled with a time. The row times can be either date times to represent absolute points in time, or durations to represent elapsed times. As with a table, you can use subscripting with parentheses to select a subset as a smaller timetable. The subscripts can be numeric, or you can use the variable names. With timetables, you can also select rows by date and time. For example, this will select rows of the timetable that match the specified times exactly. You can also subscript by providing a range of dates and times. A timetable is a container for mixed type data, and using parentheses returns a smaller timetable. To access the row times or variables inside a timetable directly, you use dot subscripting. This is convenient when using functions that work on the underlying data type, such as date time and double. Timestamp data sets are often messy and may contain anomalies or errors. Timetables are designed to help you work with these situations. For example, a timetable does not need to have its row times in any particular order, but you can easily sort by time. The data in a timetable can have unevenly spaced timestamps, missing or duplicate times, and missing or duplicate data. There are many functions to help you clean and organize messy data. One of the most common operations with timestamp data is to combine two or more data sets to a common time vector. Timetables make that easy. For example, combine bicycle traffic counts with weather data loaded previously to compare the trends over time. The times in the two timetables have different intervals. The bicycle counts are hourly, the weather measurements are daily, but at slightly irregular times. Combine these two data sets into one regular daily series by summing the hourly bicycle counts and simultaneously adjusting the weather data. Plot the count and temperature data for weekdays on separate y-axes for comparison. Another common operation with timestamp data is to analyze the data grouped by time interval. Timetables make that easy too. For example, Use varfun to determine the mean traffic counts in each direction grouped by the hour of day. Visualize the hourly counts with a bar plot. This figure clearly shows the morning and evening rush hours in opposing directions. Using a timetable simplified the steps necessary to start from messy data and find important patterns. This concludes the video overview of timetables. You can try this feature in MATLAB or browse the documentation for more details.